juga rakyat yang mempersoalkah, mempersoalkan, mampukah ahli-ahli parlimen PAS ya, bersatu speaking seperti Datu Seri UIB Rafizi Ramli. Ramai rakyat pula mengatakan tidak ada yang layak. Ya, ada salah seorang daripada AMNO masuk uh, PAS. Congratulate katanya, congratulate. <laughs> Memang funny ya. Dan kalau kita lihat presiden mereka sendiri ya Ketua penerangan mereka sendiri ya, Cuba mempersoalkan tentang SPM orang lain Apabila ditanya Duduk termenung dia Seperti membuat gunung sahabat semua Dan apabila rakyat tanya Apakah SPM dia Dia pula bersembunyi di bucu pintu Satu yang amat-amat memalukan jadi sekali lagi saya ingin membawakan anda sahabat semua Datu Sri YB Rafiz Ramli ya berucap dalam satu uh, program Majlis Kerjasama Strategik Penaraju Global Semiconductor Pembangunan Chip AI untuk negara kita. Jadi ayo kita tonton bersama video ini. Yang berhormat Datu Sri Anwar Ibrahim Prime Minister of Malaysia Datu Sri Utama Tengku Zafrul Aziz Minister of Investment Trade and Industry Rainer Haas, CEO of ARM, Will Abbey, Chief Commercial Officer of ARM, C.K. Seng, President of North America for ARM, Ambassadors, Senior Government Officials, Senior Management of ARM, Members of the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon. Thank you for taking the time to attend today's important event. I know the ARM team has flown from every part of the world, Cupertino from California, from Cambridge in the UK, and Taipei to be here with us today. Months of intense work went into bringing this to life. The structuring of the IP framework and model, the coordination and alignment with every rung of our organizations, the long and arduous negotiations behind the scenes. I am thankful to the government and arms patients for the past few months to bring this across the line. I want to use this opening remark to share a short story that hopefully gives colour to how this partnership came to be. It all started from Malaysia's inaugural tech conference, KL20, in April 2024 when we invited C.K. Seng of Arm Limited to attend as a speaker and also as collaborator to the IC Design Park in Selangor. Then, C.K. and the Arm team were invited to a private meeting with the Prime Minister. At the end of the two-day conference, the government and Arm agreed that we had to do more. We needed a deeper more substantive partnership that aligns with the Prime Minister's technology vision. At the macro level, we know a few things to be true. One, our semiconductor industry must move from OSAT or back-end that captures between 5 to 10% of the value to IC design that captures over 60% of the supply chain value. Two, our economic strategy requires Malaysia to build local, indigenous technology for higher margin exports and supply chain resilience. And third, we need to venture into new technology areas like AI, robotics, autonomous vehicles and IoT. Now, the question is, what should we do to achieve all three? That is when we have gone through the rounds of negotiations with ARM to find a collaboration model that is meaningful and more importantly, takes an ecosystem perspective, not something one-off or reliant on our low-cost labour, but one that is ambitious and far-sighted, not a technology catch-up or technology upgrading but a technological leapfrogging. What we have today is a comprehensive ecosystem partnership with ARM, where we would work to develop complex design companies 
with ARM's IP expertise, develop 10,000 talents for the pipeline and to design based on ARM's crown jewel, that is the ARM Compute Subsystem or CSS. For each of the CSS, we are looking to build a complete supply chain in advanced industries such as AI data centers, AI data servers, autonomous vehicles, IoT, robotics, and other verticals. An ecosystem perspective also means that we will prioritize local players as the first resort for every part of the supply chain. 1,000 talents for the pipeline and to design not something one-off or reliant on our low-cost labor, but one that is ambitious and far-sighted, not a technology catch-up or technology upgrading, but a technological leapfrogging. What we have today is a comprehensive ecosystem partnership with ARM, where we would work to develop complex design companies with ARM's IP expertise, develop 10,000 talents for the pipeline, and to design based on ARM's crown jewel, that is the ARM Compute Subsystem, or CSS. For each of the CSS, we are looking to build a complete supply chain in advanced industries, such as AI data centers, AI data servers, autonomous vehicles, IoT, robotics, and other verticals. An ecosystem perspective also means that we will prioritize local players as the first resort for every part of the supply chain. For this to work, we have put in place a collaborative structure with advanced foreign firms, proposed technology transfer and localization requirements so that we could uplift our local players in a real realistic and holistic way. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next few months, we will show progress on this ARM collaboration. Hopefully, we will have a 10-year vision of how we want to do this, and that includes announcing the recipients of CSS tokens, highlighting the collaboration with local players, and showcasing these technology prototypes at the next KL20 conference. There is one last thing I wanted to share. Towards the end of the many conversations with ARM, someone in the room will inevitably ask, why Malaysia? Why would the world's largest chip architecture designer choose Malaysia? Time and again, we were convinced that this is indeed the right time, right place, and the right people coming together. A collaboration with ARM is a show of confidence in what we could do. Malaysians owe it to ourselves to have faith in our abilities and aspirations and to say that we are ready and we will be ready to follow the path of history. I hope this is the start of something new and something great. Thank you very much for taking the time for today's launch. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. Mm -hmm.